Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel Perfume Guru and today I have some interesting wood samples from the house of Al Hashimi of course I have talked about this house on my channel before so I have been hanging on to these samples for a very long time I don't know, I was not finding the right weather to review these because these ouds are some very high quality natural ouds which you know require the right weather and the setting to uh, enjoy them, to understand them oud needs a little bit of this listening this focusing so that you can understand the finer nuances of it that's the whole purpose of buying these expensive natural oud oils uh, there, there, there is a multitude of aromas hidden within a singular oud oil so you need to spend time with it in different settings sometimes it may appear like a very simple linear soft gentle sort of scent which just fades away in about one or two hours but when you try it in a better setting, in a better condition, in a better climate, in better weather it can last, you'll, you'll suddenly realize that this thing can actually last for more than 12 hours maybe with a very nice scent and with a proper com uh, complexity and development so guys, I took some time, so I'm really sorry for that but uh, here we are talking about three oud oils from this brand so the first one is Al Hashimi Tariq Cambodia it says Cambodia Assam 2008 now that's strange because Cambodia is a different uh, place Assam is in India so I don't know probably it's a blend of two oils anyway this oil Tariq is a very uh, nice bona fide Cambodian wild Cambodian oud smells a smell which is just uh, like a toned down version of an Indian oud oil Indian oud oils and Cambodian oud oils have something in similar they are basically similar in style they have this uh, funky leathery opening which is of course more pronounced in the Indian oud oils if done properly or it is uh, slightly lower on the funk scale in these Cambodian oud oils however the dry down has more of this tobacco molasses kind of um, scent and uh, uh, the, the last phase or the final phase which is the most enjoyable of course is the sweet phase where you get a lot of fruit it's, it's like a luscious fruity kind of scent which is very rich intense and it can last on your skin for a long time and Cambodians are more wearable and uh, of course more uh, public friendly because when I wear Cambodian oud oils I actually get some compliments uh, of course we are talking about the high quality Cambodian oils not these regular conventional commercial market oils so Tariq is one of those Cambodian oud oils but the dry down of this oil is very special it's very unique it's almost as nice as the dry down of Chinese oils so it, it's kind of vaporous it, it's, it's kind of minty and it's got this beautiful lovely tobacco-ish hue to it uh, the sillage and projection are of course not much Woods are personal scents so you don't expect much with that but the performance is pretty spot on and in a colder weather or a pleasant climate you'll definitely get an easy 6 to 10 hours with a soft sillage and a soft projection alright let's talk about the next oil which is my favourite of the three this is Saba from 2015 Saba is basically an island I, as far as I remember Saba is basically an island uh, down in Southeast Asia where, where, where there's a lot of jungle where there's a lot of wild flora and fauna so basically untouched uh, agarwood forests and you get wild oud oils which are very old the trees are very very old so you expect uh, you can expect this resin to be very rich very intense very woodsy very smoky very incensey but uh, uh, I don't know strangely this sort of profile fits more into the Borneo category of oud oils so it's, it's vaporous, it's minty, there is no leather or barn like Hindi or Cambodi oud oils it has a very minty, uh, slightly incensey, woodsy, almost camphorous, vaporous kind of tone and then it becomes sweet but the special thing about this, I mean it may sound very simple right but the special thing about this, this, this kind of, these kind of oils is that they have a very uh, unique uh, olfaction, olfactory dimension which, which, is, which, is, which has to be experienced you know it's not easy to be put into words uh, it's, it's like a halo around you it's like a vaporous spiritual halo around you that you get with ouds and um, 
you know, it's almost uh, medicinal, therapeutic in feel. So it kind of heals you. It feels uh, the sweet vapors. When you catch a whiff of those sweet vapors, it automatically lifts your mood and, um, you know, it makes you feel great. I don't know. It, it kind of takes your stress away. It's almost, as I said, it's medicinal, therapeutic. So the actions of it can be felt on your body rather than just, you know, um, be present as a scent or a fragrance. So that's the speciality of these wild oud oils. It's, it's almost like communicating with nature. There's this, there's this connection with nature which uh, really comes alive with these oud oils and everything basically which is natural, sandalwood, oud, uh, and all your myrrh, uh, you know, all these resins, tree resins, fir balsam, these, the, the smell of cedar wood, these kind of natural smells and perfumery, you know, they, they, they kind of uh, help you connect to your natural self, to your wild self. And probably it's just my imagination, but, you know, there's this whole forum of Oud addicts, of Oud lovers, who, continue, who continually, continuously uh, experience such highs when they're wearing such Oud. So it, it's not just... Uh, something sub something subjective there's definitely an objectivity to this experience so it's a lovely lovely oil i think it's it's the most precious when it comes to smells it's the most precious out of these three and the longevity of it is around six to eight hours this the sea ajan projection are just soft uh, intimate sort of thing you know it's it's more like a personal scent you you don't want these scents to really cross the boundaries there's there's a certain mannerism that has to be taken care of when, when you're wearing such ouds and others, it's not supposed to invade other people's space. So that is something that adab or that uh, tehzeeb has to be, you know, has to be maintained. Anyway, Al-Hashimi Trad, this is a unique Thai oil. I believe this is cultivated. It may be wild. So just correct me if, if, you've, if you own this one already. Al-Hashimi Trad. So this is from the region of Trad, which is basically, uh, from what I know, um, a region somewhere between Cambodia and the, the, the Thailand, uh, the country of Thailand. So there's the, they're, they're basic, these are basically, uh, uh, you know, uh, archipelagos. These are basic, ba basically a group of islands. So there's this particular area in which they have a lot of agarwood trees, a lot of cultivations, a lot of wild trees as well. So Trath is something which is... Uh, very Thai, very specific in smell. It's most user-friendly. You can say it's almost like a perfumey oud. It does not have the simplicity or the gravity of um, these Indian oud oils. It's more playful, more uh, cherishable, more enjoyable. So Trat is one of those oils. It has a very camphorous, sweet, almost uh, fruity kind of tone. The initial uh, scent of it is not so appealing. I mean, that's that's something which is very common with all the Thai oils, no matter how wild or cultivated they are. There's something which uh, is enjoyable, but definitely not for the connoisseurs. Anyway, that opening is pretty simple. It does not, you know, smack you in the face or uh, it does not light you up, you know, um, doesn't excite your neurons, but it's it's simple and it's enjoyable. The dry down of this, however, is very special. It does not at all behave like the other simple Thai Oud oil. So it's basically um, almost like a mixture of uh, high quality Vietnamese or Malaysian uh, oil in the dry down because it, it's got a lovely incense profile. Uh, it is sweet. It is almost sweet like your Hainan, um, Hainan uh, Chinese Oud, but it's, 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 um, not so minty vaporous. It's it's kind of nice, sweety. Uh, it's sweet, fruity. So Trath is something which is which I really enjoyed from this house. Even though it's supposed to be a simple oil, it's just not. So yes, these guys did well with their ouds, and the longevity was pretty 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 good with this one. I think this is the longest lasting out of these three, almost six to ten hours with a soft sillage and soft projection. But the projection was much better than the other two because I did not have to really put my nose onto my forearm to sniff it, to smell it. So it was pretty much enjoyable just from a good distance. So uh, yeah, that's something which is really nice about this oil. So guys, Al Hashimi, watch out for this company. They keep on releasing some new stuff. This is uh, pretty old stuff, I believe. I, I, I don't really know if they still uh, offer if they're still offering these oils because oud is a is a limited thing it, it just goes it, it comes in limited batches and just goes vanishes very quickly if some oud is very nice 
it, it, it's going to be talked about on all the Ood forums and it's going to disappear pretty soon. So you guys need to keep a uh, good watch on these these uh, private distillers, private companies because they have uh, you know almost created a parallel market with the popular uh, Ood companies. They are releasing some really nice artisanal oils. They are working hard to find real gems because that's their USP. If they don't get good oils, they will not get their um, due share of notice or a recognition in the market. So yeah, thank you so much for the package Al Hashimi and I hope you enjoy these oils. Please sample these and uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you have already sniffed some of these. It will be very, very nice to hear your thoughts. So see you guys again with another review and yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to a very nice place pretty soon so I'll uh, keep you updated with that. Uh, we are going to have a lot, a lot of fun, a lot of surprises coming your way and um, I hope you enjoy that. So guys, until then, take care. Bye-bye.